Today in this video, we're going to look at what is crypto mining and how does it work? What do you need for mine cryptocurrencies and is it worth mining in 2022? Make sure to watch the video till the end and don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. So without further ado, let's get started. What is crypto mining? Mining is the process that Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies use to generate new coins and verify new transactions. It involves vast decentralized networks of computers around the world that verify and secure blockchains. The virtual ledgers that document cryptocurrency transactions, in return for contributing their processing power, computers on the network are rewarded with new coins. It's a virtuous circle. The miners maintain and secure the blockchain, the blockchain awards the coins, the coins provide an incentive for the miners to maintain the blockchain. How does mining work? There are three primary ways of obtaining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. You can buy them on an exchange like Coinbase, receive them as payment for goods or services, or virtually mine them. It's the third category that we're explaining here, using Bitcoin as our example. You might have considered trying Bitcoin mining yourself. A decade ago, anyone with a decent home computer could participate. But as the blockchain has grown, the computational power required to maintain it has increased. In October 2019, it required 12 trillion times more computing power to mine one Bitcoin than it did when the first blocks were mined in January 2009. As a result, amateur Bitcoin mining is unlikely to be profitable for hobbyists these days. Virtually all mining is now done by specialized companies or groups of people who band their resources together. But it's still good to know how it works. What do you need to start mining? Specialized computers perform the calculations required to verify and record every new Bitcoin transaction and ensure that the blockchain is secure. Verifying the blockchain requires a vast amount of computing power, which is voluntarily contributed by miners. Bitcoin mining is a lot like running a big data center. Companies purchase the mining hardware and pay for the electricity required to keep it run. For this to be profitable, the value of the earned coins has to be higher than the cost to mine those coins. What motivates miners? The network holds a lottery. Every computer on the network races to be the first to guess a 64-digit hexadecimal number, known as a hash. The faster a computer can spit out guesses, the more likely the miner is to earn the reward. The winner updates the blockchain ledger with all the newly verified transactions, thereby adding a newly verified block containing all of those transactions to the chain, and is granted a predetermined amount of newly minted Bitcoin. On average, this happens every 10 minutes. As of late 2020, the reward was 6.25 Bitcoin but it will be reduced by half in 2024 and every four years after. In fact, as the difficulty of mining increases, the reward will keep decreasing until there is no more Bitcoin left to be mined. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. The final block should theoretically be mined in 2140. From that point forward, miners will no longer rely on newly issued Bitcoin as reward but instead will rely on the fees they charge for making transactions. How much money do you need to invest to make a decent mining operation that generates an income? When Bitcoin was first created, the computer power required for Bitcoin mining was enough for the computer processing unit. Over time, the calculations have become more complex. Today mining can mostly only be accomplished with advanced application-specific integrated circuit machines created specifically for mining Bitcoin. And yet the hardware needs of Bitcoin mining is constantly evolving as older machines become obsolete. An ASIC that was powerful enough to be profitable six months ago might not be able to produce enough coins to match the cost of electricity. When this happens, miners must acquire new, more advanced hardware if you plan to try Bitcoin mining on your own, here are some things to consider when purchasing equipments. Equipment cost. Electricity cost. The time it will take to recoup equipment costs. How BTC price fluctuations might impact profitability. The frequency with which you will need to buy newer, more powerful machines and sell old ones. What are some good coins to mine in 2022? Bitcoin. Currently valued at $36,215. Bitcoin founded by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009 is the world's largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. To mine bitcoins, miners must solve complex mathematical puzzles to validate transactions. Miners profit when the price of bitcoins exceeds the amount it took to mine them. Bitcoin mining has grown to become very difficult and energy-intensive. 
The problem with this is that as mining becomes more challenging, profiting from it does too. Miners will need to spend more on computational power, thus reducing their net profit. The profit they are left with after investing in computational power. Ethereum. ETH is possibly the most profitable to mine in 2022. Recently, on January 20th, the miner earned $540,000 as a reward after mining a whole block by themselves. Founded by a Russian-Canadian programmer in 2013, Ethereum is currently valued at $2,399. It is the second most popular crypto token after Bitcoin. Mining Ethereum is simpler than mining Bitcoin. However, it is also energy-intensive and demands high computational power. Monero. Currently valued at $144 per Monero, the cryptocurrency token was launched in 2014, with a specialized focus on privacy and anonymity. Its powerful financial performance makes it a favorable choice among miners. What makes XMR so profitable is that it doesn't require heavy-duty technology, such as application-specific integrated circuits, as Bitcoin does. You can get started with a simple central processing unit or graphics processing unit. This way, you save money on equipment, thus increasing your net profit. Mining can be a lucrative way to make money, but only if you know what you're doing. So what's everyone's thoughts about crypto mining? Remember with any investments, it's best to do some research before you part with your money. The prices of cryptocurrencies are volatile and go up and down quickly. Just remember the most important rule. Don't invest what you can't afford to lose. We'd love to hear from you, so let us know down below in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency investments content. Thanks for watching.